Hello, welcome in. It's Kyra, back for a live sale. How are people tonight? See a couple people have joined. Hello, Paul, welcome back. Hi. Sorry, guys. I'm here alone tonight, so I'm juggling a couple things. Thought I'd show just a couple of sealed product I have for 25 each. We have the uh, Pokemon Go tins. So I got the Blissey one and the Snorlax. It looks like you get... Oh, so there's a promo card featuring Pikachu inside. And you get four Pokemon Go packs, a sticker sheet, and a code card. Oh, I think you get Also got, we have a bunch of miscellaneous Pokemon items tonight. I also have some magic stuff, some D&D stuff, sports, Yu-Gi-Oh even. Kind of grabbed a mishmash of stuff today. Let's see, we also got these cool for the um, Final Fantasy trading card game. Um, two-player starter set, so I assume you get two decks in there. That is $25. Two pre-constructed decks, starter guide. I don't even know what to expect in a Final Fantasy game, I guess. And I still have one sealed box for sports. It's the sports ball. Let's see. 2022 Mega Box Major League Baseball for 70. Then I don't know. I got a bunch of random kind of miscellaneous Pokemon stuff. Um, we got these cute. Uh, Remint always does the best little blind boxes. So these are $20 each. Um, this one is the Starium batch. So you could get a couple different um, options there. Or I also have, this is the Dreaming Case. Also $20 each. And you get a cute little sleeping Pokemon. Let's see, you got Pikachu, Alolan Vulpix. Oh, it's called Elfun in some language. <laughs> but Whimsicott. Got a Chinchino, Alchemy. Galarian Ponita. I always love finding Remint stuff. I have a set that's like um, a little desk and like school supply stuff. And they're always so cute to make a little like diorama set of. 
Let's see. Just getting all the crazy miscellaneous stuff out of the way. Got this cool edition of Trivial Pursuit for $25. Nightmare Before Christmas. Featuring over 400 questions. So let's see. It's cute and a little shape of a coffin, obviously. And I'm guessing all the questions are going to be Nightmare Before Christmas related. Speaking of Remint, I think a couple of these are technically Remint um, brand. Um, but for $6, I have this cute little Pikachu with a pine cone, it looks like. $6, I have some Bennets. Got a little Cubone. And for $10, I have... Guessing you can make it into a hanger of some sort. Pikachu ride in a Butterfree. So that's pretty cute. Like I said, a lot of little miscellaneous Pokemon stuff uh, we got in from the past couple weeks. Oh, I also have for $10, just in time for Christmas, a little Applin. Um, looks like a wreath hanger, stuffed animal, some sort. So that's pretty cute. And let's see, what else? All my random crap around here. Um, here, I'll show some D&D &D stuff we got in recently. We're finally getting in some of the spellbook cards. I always like these for D&D. &D. They're super helpful. So we got Cleric, Bard, and Druid so far. Those ones are $16. Hopefully, I assume we'll be getting in the other classes, but um, they're super handy. It has pretty much all the um, main spells that you would get, and it's nice to just keep on hand um, if you're keeping track of what spells and stuff you're using or attacks. Um, there, like Magic Circle, Resistance, um, and also for d and I've been pushing for us getting more D&D stuff, because I know a lot of people are recently getting into it. I feel like Stranger Things kind of kicked that off, but we also got this really cool pack, Campaign Case Creatures. So that is $65, but it looks like you get all these little, um, discs and then it looks like there's some sort of like stickers or something and you put them on there to represent your creatures um you know if you're using an actual table and then it looks like it also just becomes a big like carrying case um let's see storage folder storage case removable storage trays so yeah it would look like that thought those were pretty cool to represent creatures especially if you have like a whole army of like kobolds attacking you you could just have a whole bunch of tokens to represent that uh i also have I've gotten in some character sheets this is just ten dollars you get a pack of character sheets um always handy just have a bunch and I also have, I can't remember if I've showed this before, but it is a pretty cool book. Um, so basically $50. It is the Monsters of the Multiverse campaign pack. Um, let's see. So you're getting a bunch of new creatures. Maybe some new races in there. Oh, Tortle, Triton, Tabaxi. I always love a good campaign book. I 
I just have like everything in front of me right now. All right, let's do a couple video games and then we'll get into the card singles. So the main, or let's see, one of the games I have tonight, I have Animal Crossing for the Switch. This is a used copy and it is $35. And it's pretty much brand spanking new. There you go. If anyone hasn't played that yet. We also got in a used copy for $15, Red Dead Redemption 2 for the Xbox One. And also for the Xbox One, I have Bully Scholarship Edition. I've always heard that's a pretty good one, especially if you like Rockstar games. So let's see. It takes place in a boarding school. The highs and lows of boarding school, I'm guessing. Also for the N64, for $17, I have Jet Force Gemini. Looks like a pretty interesting game. We recently had our video game sale here, and um, most of our video games were like 75% off, and someone literally came and bought, like, cleared out pretty much all of our video game section. It was wild. Let's get some sports singles out from the autograph series. For $5, I got Reggie Robertson. Oh, geez. My camera is doing some bizarre focusing. Let's see. Got this rookie, Kyron Williams. At $5. For $5, got the autograph, Mackenzie Milton. $8 autograph, Chris Tyree. And these are all, like, live ink, too. So, like, the player actually, like, autographed those cards, which is pretty cool. Um, you can see it better there. It's, like, actual. They used marker. Um, for $10, I got Damone Clark. Ten dollars, Corey Sutton. And ten dollars, Drew Plitt. I also got a bunch of magic singles we'll go through quick. Starting to um, get a lot more magic out and getting that all organized in our store. Um, so for $7, I got Essica, God of Tree. $12, Jessica's Will. I'll try to hold them up so you can read the descriptions if you need to. $14, I have Dryad of Elysian Grove. $28, Smothering Tight. And just so you know, we also have magic going on now every Friday night, starting at about 4, 4.30. Um, and that's been really fun. We've been having good turnouts. Even if you're a beginner, 
you can come in. Everyone's super nice. They've been having a lot of fun. I do not understand magic enough. <laughs> For $30, I got this really cool Entomb. And for $45, have this Anointed Procession. With that blinding hollow. What is that from? 2017. And again, I'm going through these a little fast, but if you want me to go back to anything, just let me know. Hello, Jack. Welcome in. I've been also, let's see, I took in a pretty cool um, Yu-Gi-Oh! collection the other day as well, so I thought I'd show some of those. Don't know if I have any Yu-Gi-Oh! people in here, but hey, it's worth a shot. Go in. Uh, these blue sieves are going to be $2. So we got Elemento Hero First Natrix. Yu-Gi-Oh! always has the craziest names. Let's see. Elemental Hero Great Tornado. E. Emergency Call. Pretty cool. O. Oversoul. And a lot of these are first edition, actually. Which is pretty nice. Um, this one's really sick. Cyber Dark Keel. Then I'll go over into $3. Got this really beautiful gem armadillo. Got a Doma, the Angel of Silence. And then $4. Really cool looking Elemento Hero, The Shining. The classic polymerization. Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth. This one's really gorgeous. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. The extent of my knowledge of Yu-Gi-Oh! or interest in Yu-Gi-Oh! is that I buy cards that look really pretty. So I'm like, I have no idea how to play this. Going into $5, got Elemento Hero Flame Wingman. And the polymerization, let me see. What's the letters on the right side? It says... LCYW EN056. So I'm not sure if that's a reprint set. Um, it's always hard to tell for me. Here I also have Masked Hero Dark Law at $5. Yeah, just let me know if you need to see any closer to. <laughs> I also have Elemento Hero Blaze Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to go in for like all of these when I'm putting them into my scanning app and select the exact set. And then you got to see if it's first edition. And Yu Gi Oh! is so difficult sometimes. But for $7, got Elemento Hero. The Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. And for $16, got this really cool Chaos and Master. Did you want me to run back through those at all, Jack? Totally can if you need to. Um, and I'm still pricing a bunch, so you might see some more. This was just kind of... Um, a couple of the cool ones I got through so far. Um, I'd like us to get some more Yu-Gi-Oh! people in the store. And then I only have a couple um, Pokemon singles tonight, but we'll get through them real quick.
At one dollar, I got a Shadow Rider Calyrex V. Two dollars, I got a Shadow Rider Calyrex V. Also got a Celebi V. At one dollar. Boltund V. And then at two dollars, got Shadow Rider Kylie Rex V Max. I know. <laughs> Trust me, Paul. <laughs> That's all I've been on. I'm like, really? We have not gotten in good collections yet. Let's see. I'll get you for that bolt on Kevin. I want people to bring me their stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess I'd also... <laughs> I was also going to show... I don't know how good this is for your wallet. At just a low, low price of two twenty five, we got a bunch more gold stars in, and oh, I don't have this one marked, but this one is also going to be two twenty five. Ooh, not seventy percent. Um, I would say, um, I would say forty to fifty percent, Jack. Um. Also depends on what you got. Um, always willing to negotiate and stuff, but that's kind of around where you would be seeing 40 to 50. Though we can always take a look at stuff. Um, let's see. Guys, I know this was probably the lamest sale ever. But that's literally like all I have tonight. Um, we did, however, redo the back wall a bit. So let's go on a little journey. I'll take us back there real quick. I also have to <laughs> watch the register. It's a chaotic day today. But I thought I'd show real quick. Um, Got our puzzle section kind of moved over here. And then, see, we redid. I don't know if you can tell, but tried to make it a lot more neat. Um, trying to turn my phone a bit. There we go. Um, got plenty of binders in stock. Um, nice deck boxes. Colored sleeves, those ones are all uh, $10 for those two packs. Also have penny sleeves at $4. And then uh, these nice shields, let's see. White magic binder. Yeah, so that one is 28 and it's, um, it's like a fold out binder. It's kind of interesting. Let's see. So that one's 28. Also got some smaller binders. These ones are $12. Got a Blastoise. Um, this one holds oversized cards. That one's $15. Got plenty of different shields. Um, some cool Batman, Wonder Woman card sleeves, Yu-Gi-Oh card sleeves, oh, you want to look at white magic cards, okay, um, I can take a look, let's see, I'll just kind of pan over the rest of the wall real quick. 
Also got plenty of really cool minis. No One Piece. Um, Dragon Ball. We have a lot of a lot more like bulk stuff. Um, but I can go check. Oh, I might have a couple priced ones actually. Also got the Marvel Champions game and got some of those accessories. Got a She Hulk, uh, Matt. Monopolies. No, I had a couple of. <laughs> there you go for Dragon Ball. Kind of bunched up. Agent of Destruction and something, something, something pressure for $1. Um, also got some random card fight ones. And then, I'm not sure, so I'll show you the pages, but I know, um, they're still work in progress, but I'll show you, um, our white cards, Jesse. Hand of Justice, got Arrow the Four, Over there, it looks like Talia, Guardian. It was Angelic Destiny. But, uh, Jesse, I'm going to ask um, my magic guy here. I'm going to write that down because I know you were asking. I'll see if we have any Angels of Mercy. Maybe hiding somewhere. At the bottom. Um, Looks like Opal Archangel. Hi. Yeah. I'll be with you in one second. Thank you. Okay. Got to go check someone out real quick. Um... Sorry if this was kind of chaotic, but um, I might end it at right about here. But Jesse, um, message me if you have any more questions, and I can look for some cards for you if you want. Um, but yeah, sorry, <laughs> it was kind of a short sale tonight. Um, but message me if you have any questions or if you want to claim anything afterwards and um i will help you out so thanks for joining me goodbye everyone